Question 1. How is authentication handled with G Suite? Answer. We use OAuth 2.0 in order to authenticate to G Suite accounts for all Google services. This includes email, contacts, calendars, and documents under Google Drive. Question 2. What type of accounts can use OAuth 2.0? Answer. OAuth 2.0 is used by all accounts, i.e., both paid and non-paid G Suite accounts. For administrative authentication, BitTitan uses OAuth 2.0 service account workflow. For user authentication, BitTitan uses OAuth 2.0 web application workflow. Note previously, OAuth 1.0 was only available to paid G Suite accounts, namely G Suite for business and education. Question 3. How do I migrate using OAuth 2.0 with administrative authentication? Answer. Follow the directions in the Knowledge Base article KB0050192 to set up the G Suite account to use OAuth 2.0. In order to provide us administrative authentication access to your G Suite data, add certain allowed scopes to the migration with project as described in the article. Also, the article shows how to enable API access, which is required for performing a Google Drive migration. Question 4. What if I want to run a migration on a G Suite account without adding OAuth credentials? Answer. If not using administrative authentication, then an OAuth 2.0 challenge requires user actions in order to authorize migration with to access their data. After submitting a migration for Mailbox S, migration with will send an email to each user mailbox in order to ask for access privileges. Once the user confirms access privileges, their migration will begin. Note. Non paid Google account migrations will also follow the above OAuth 2.0 challenge methodology. It is necessary to migrate these accounts using the individual username and passwords for each account. Previously Google used client login for such migrations. This has been deprecated and replaced by OAuth 2.0. Question 5. What is OAuth? Answer. OAuth is an open standard for authorization. OAuth provides client applications a secure delegated access to server resources on behalf of a resource owner. It specifies a process for resource owners to authorize third-party access to their server resources without sharing their credentials. Designed specifically to work with Hypertext Transfer Protocol (HTTP), OAuth essentially allows access tokens to be issued to third-party clients by an authorization server with the approval of the resource owner or end user the client then uses the access token to access the protected resources hosted by the resource server OAuth is commonly used as a way for web surfers to log into third-party websites using their Google Facebook or Twitter accounts without worrying about their access credentials being compromised Question 6. Is Notary Management restricted to the Payment API? Answer. Notary Management can be used with any other API and is not restricted to the Payment API, OAuth, or any other API. However, if the Payment API is used, the Notary service must be used to facilitate those APIs. Question 7. How does OpenID differ from the OAuth 2.0 Authentication Management API? Answer. OpenID is about authentication, i.e. proving who you are. OAuth is about authorization i.e. granting access to functionality, data, etc. without dealing with the original authentication. Question 8. Does the OAuth access token expire? Answer. After the lifetime that is specified in the expires underscore in parameter has elapsed, the OAuth access token is no longer valid. When that occurs, any attempt to use the expired OAuth access token results in an OAuth 2.0 authentication management API response with the HTTP status code of 401 unauthorized. A developer must provide logic in their app to handle conditions when the expired OAuth access token may be used. Question 9. What is the class definition not found error in Android sample apps? Answer. This error occurs because the SDK jar file is not added to the application. Steps to fix this issue. Go to the properties of the application. Select Java build path. In libraries tab, press add jar button and add the SDK underscore name dot jar file. Now go to order and export tab and check slash select the SDK underscore name dot jar file and press OK. Rerun the application now. Thank you.
Question 10. Are all APIs available with premium access? Answer. Most APIs are available but some may have additional requirements such as finance APIs such as advertising require banking and tax information to receive funds. APIs that are in closed beta may require that you request and be accepted into the closed beta. Specific APIs because of their nature may require volume commitments under a separate high volume or enterprise agreement. You can find out more information for specific KPIs by visiting our pricing page and clicking on the API you are interested in.